right welcome back on this one it says aisha buari set to regain power as mamandara allegedly retires to cardinal all right the first lady returned to the country believing that aso villa was more secured with dara out of the way and managing is held away from the state house the return of Nigerian's First Lady Aisha Buhari to Aso Rock Villa from the United Arab Emirates last Thursday was partly due to the ailment of a top member of the cabal in President Muhammad Buhari's government, Maman Dara. Dara has long been viewed as the leader of a powerful cabal or powerful kitchen cabinet alleged to have hijacked the Buhari presidency since he came to power. Meanwhile, several reporters learned from presidency sources that 81-year-old Dara, who is Buhari's nephew, is now partially paralyzed on the left side and um, managing is held presently in Cardinal. Sarah reporters further gathered that the first lady returned to the country believing that Aso Villa was more secured with Dara out of the way and managing is held away from the state house. It was also learned that with Dara out of Aso Villa and less active, the power tussle in the villa would be reduced and the place would be more conducive for her. Although she still has a young man, Sabu alias Tunde Idiagbon, to contend with. Meanwhile, Aisha returned last Thursday after spending about six months in the UAE. Buhari reportedly made her last known, made our last known public appearance in September 2020 during the wedding of our daughter, Anna. All right, and then that has been said. And then meanwhile, it is also gathered that since then, she had conspicuously been absent from government activities and also stopped posting on social media platforms. Mamandara is sick. He is partially paralyzed on the left side and managing his health in Cardinal State. It is partially the reason Madame returned to Dubai. Okay, and then um, because with the man out of the villa and less active, she knows she can take on Tunde Sabu. She feels more secured. The source stated, Sarah reporters had on December 15, 2020, said that the first lady had been in Dubai since September after the wedding of her daughter, Anna. All right, and uh, it had been also reported that the first lady was not in a hurry to return despite now spending over five months as she reportedly stated that the Aso Villa was not secured for her family all right this is especially with a shooting incident which occurred in june 2020 and caused some panic among occupants of the villa the first lady and dara's daughter fatima had an altercation in the villa in october 2019 which was videoed by the latter and the latter went viral okay the first lady had admitted that she was angry in the video and went overboard because the daras were becoming overbearing in the villa fatima had also accused the first lady of attacking her at the villa Okay, and uh, in a reaction to the video, Aisha had said Mamandara's daughter Fatima laughed at her and mocked her inside Aso Rock. During an interview with BBC Ausa, Aisha explained the circumstances behind the video, saying, I was the one 
in that video and this person you see standing at my back uh, my security personnel it was fatima the daughter of mamandara that shot the video in front of my security and everybody there she was actually recording the whole thing right in front of me and was laughing and mocking me they did that because my husband sacked them from the house he told them to get all their belongings and leave the house for my son yusuf to occupy I left them and wanted to get to one of the rooms, but they prevented me from getting through. I left them and took another way yet. I met the store locked. Okay. All right. And then that has been the issue of the day. Okay. Well, uh, according to what we have on ground right now, it is said that Mamandara Tunde Sabu. What of a husband? Does it mean that these two men are greater than a husband? This speaks volume to the speculation that is going on that we are being ruled by an imposter. May all the enemies of Nigeria become paralyzed. Okay, that is what has been the reaction of people onto this one. And the guys have said that well. Madam, act or speak for the poor masses. You are welcome. All right. And the truth is like the pregnancy. You may deny the truth for a while, but not all the times, especially when the thing done, they enter the night month. As in the Aso Rock case, the pregnancy is exposing itself on daily basis because the night month is almost here. Hmm. All right, and then a lot of things have been said so far. Okay, cow, we no the we no get till now. God, they drive him fly. God will fight your battle, ma'am, and you will hold your peace. A cabo see a real lady. All right, and a lot of people have been like, you no, know, commenting, reacting towards this. Well, a lot of people have been like, okay, God never sleeps in his time he made everything beautiful just imagine the mightier are falling abakari dead okay abakari died okay followed by ismail von Twa. now the grand man the grand commander of cabal mamandara partially paralyzed may god open his eyes to seek for forgiveness from nigerians because he that planted evil must surely reap calamity. Hmm. All right, okay, well, and I think a lot of people understand and you know, know the stories of this, okay, and then because many people have said that God will surely have mercy on Ninja Kaba. Too many. The remaining Kaba is Minister of Justice Malami, and he too will go as daura mm -hmm. all right okay well the old truth is that um, majority of nigerians have been saying it that hmm, are you sure there is buhari well and then you no know, to my greatest surprise you no know, we still have a lot of people that still believe that okay the same man there is buhari okay well and then that is it i know a lot of people have a lot of comments onto this for me while don't hesitate to you know put down your comment at the comment section below and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless